Sean Strickland's being caught on camera, yapping, giving it the big end, and he's absolutely not stood on business. And it brings me, it brings me great pleasure to, you know, burst the bubble of Strickland fans because they're the worst fans in the game. I love them. I don't care what anybody thinks. I love the Beatles for them, and I'll always love them. Even when I'm 105 and an old grandmother, I love them. Keep watching because this pathetic display of behavior it reminds me of something. And Paul McCartney, if you are listening, Adrian from Brooklyn loves you with all her heart. And so do all the Strickland incels. I love you, Paul, and please come to the window so I can just see you. I saw you smoking before, and I kissed the limousine you looked at him. Imagine being that pathetic that you just wait outside someone's hotel or car just to catch a glimpse, a smile, or maybe touch them. But I love you, and I want you, Paul. Please look at it. And Ringo, you can look at it too, because I like you. It's kind of forgivable, because they are women and it was in the era of the Beatles but this isn't that guy nearly had an aneurysm he was screaming that much these are grown men how dare they jump on the internet and call anyone incels Jesus Christ And if you're enjoying the video, just like Strickland, jab that like button and hit subscribe. <laughs> they're a bunch of incels. They go around calling everyone else liberals and incels, but really, they're the ones that are incels. And we're going to take a look at the video, break it down. Sean Strickland did not stand on business. Let's take a look. So it starts in the middle of the confrontation. Sean Strickland's brother and Sean Strickland are at a climbing center. One of the people, one of the supervisors says that you've got one mate to get out. And then uh, Sean Strickland's brother starts giving him some verbal abuse. And then it kind of escalates from here. The supervisor approaches Sean Strickland's brother and they're both very calm, relaxed, and they, they start talking to him. And then Sean Strickland's brother starts saying that he's going to hate them both. They don't seem too threatened by the body language. They're calm and relaxed and quite chilled at this point. Shut up, don't speak to my wife, I'm gonna hit you. Don't fucking speak to my wife. Speak to her one time, bitch slap. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. brother walks away, but you can hear the woman talking in the background. I think it's Strickland's brother's wife, and the supervisor's talking to her, and then Strickland's brother gets angered by this, so he goes back over, starts threatening the supervisor again. And then Strickland comes over and he starts getting verbally abusive. During the whole process, the, the supervisor is quite calm, relaxed, doesn't back up, stands his ground, and just, you know, it's, it's still maintaining that, you know, non threatening behavior. Like, doesn't seem too threatened by both of them. They're both yapping at this point, going over and keep, keep giving them verbal abuse, uh, saying that they're going to smack them. <laughs> Just walk away. You're a kid. You're not, you're not, you're not, what the fuck are you doing? This part's amazing. Sean Strickland starts telling the supervisor to walk away. Then he backs up. And then he chopped because I think the supervisor stood his ground, didn't move. I think this enraged Strickland at this point. So Strickland charges at him, swings. The guy does not blink. He doesn't move. He doesn't flinch. He doesn't do nothing. He calls his bluff. Stands on business. Sean Strickland didn't do shit. He did not do shit, boys. That's your man. He didn't do shit. He did not stand on business, giving it all this yapping, yapping, and yapping. Did not stand on business, boys. Let's see what happens next. Uh, you don't understand really what you guys are going to get yourself into. This will be a life-changing event for you. I promise you. So the brother went charging over to push Strickland out the way, and then he starts going off. This will be a life-changing event. You'll be it. You'll be it. But meanwhile, the supervisor's just standing there still, hands down by the side, 
you know, calm body language, and they're still yapping. He's, he's threatening them, saying he's going to hurt them. It'll be a life-changing event. Yes, you'll be hurt. Yes, you'll be hurt. Yes, I will be hurt. Yeah, you'll be part of it. Shut up and just piss off. <laughs> Yes, boys. Why don't you just piss off? What do they do? Nothing. They do nothing still. Piss off or you're going to get hurt. You're going to get a new fucking man. Standing your ground. You have no ground. They'll fucking hurt you and hurt you at the same time. Shut the fuck up. Why are you threatening me, big dog? I love this bit. He's yapping. He's telling him he's going to hurt him. He's going to bring the pain. He's going to rain it down. You've got no ground stand on. And then at the end of it, the supervisor goes, What's up, big dog? <laughs> What's up, big dog? Love it. The man is still yapping, and the supervisor takes a step forward just to show he's not bothered, he doesn't care, he's not threatened. Body language, still chilled, hands down by his side. Not a problem. Not a problem for these guys. Can you not just control your testosterone for like 30 seconds and just leave peacefully? Oh my god, we get it, dude. We get it. You're touching man. The girl jumps in with the testosterone line, but it's the line that you might not have heard from the supervisor. We know you're mad, big dog. <laughs> we know you're mad, big dog. Oh, I love that shit, man. It's proper patronizing, isn't it? And condescending. These guys handle this situation perfectly, down to a T. Okay, let me know in the comments about this, but if you want to eat someone, just eat someone. Don't talk about eating someone, because to me, that means you kind of don't want to eat someone. I do it or don't do it. It's that simple. And I kind of get that there's laws and constraints and you might not want to go to prison and stuff like that. But just just get on with your day then. If you don't want the action, don't stand there telling them that you want the action and how much you'd hate them. Because the fact is, you're not doing it. So it doesn't matter. It does not matter. Huh? Kyle, it's all good, man. Have a good day. Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Yeah, and in true Sean Strickland fashion, talks a big game, but jabs his way to a decision. Loss in this case? I think it's a loss. I'd call that a loss. He didn't stand on business. He talked a big game, did nothing, and then he walks out of the building. But like a true dick, he tries to shake his hand one last time, but this time squeezing it and trying to yank his shoulder out. Like, subscribe, I'll see you in the next 